Do not worry. If you have hard time, because many who are busy, they have no time, they, they don't like this because, you know, discharging all the time. You may have this discharge every one hour, every half an hour at the beginning, but your body start to regulate. Do not worry. You can just start something better than nothing. So you don't have to start with a three liters per day. You can start with a one cup per day or one glass per day. Then increase gradually, but do not step, st I mean, stand by there. Increase as your body cope. You, you create your own program according to how you can cope, how you're busy, what's the time that you are available to do it. Because, but in any way, there's a toilet everywhere. Nothing to worry about that. But so you do that, how you can cope with that. So when you yes. say discharge, you talk about urination? Urination and waste disposal, yes. Exactly, yes. And then, of course, the toilet, I mean, the faces do removal of faces, all this bowel movement, you're right, yes, yes. And you, it may be in an abnormal way, like kind of, um, some people think they get diarrhea or lose motion, you know? They think it's a diarrhea, there is a disease. But, yeah, it's an infection, but that's an infection, it's your body cleans, it's, you know, detox, yeah. Uh, the, if we realize about the carbon cycle, that's a very important part, but we, why we talk about carbon cycle doesn't have anything to do with the uh, water, but we, from there we will shift into hydrogen cycle. The carbon cycle, as you realize, is well known that the sunlight receive, the, I, mean, uh, I mean, the plants that receive sunlight, uh, or, uh, photosynthesis from sunlight, and add the, uh, to the water, uh, add the water to, uh, to uh, produce uh, carbohydrates. And carbohydrates are known to be food for the animals. And the animals, they exhale carbon dioxide. And this carbon dioxide is absorbed by the plants again and splits the oxygen and carbon and add the carbon again to produce more car carbohydrates. And the oxygen is being re released to, for the environment. That's why more plants, more oxygen in the air. But actually the carbon cycle has been proclaimed to be the hydrogen cycle. So as you realize here, with the hydrogen cycle, the sunlight, again, it's the same, there's, quite co there's correlation with that, with the carbon cycle or hydrogen cycle. And that's very important with Albert Z. Georgi, we'll talk about him later. The sunlight receives, I mean, I mean a plant receives the sunlight, they add the, uh, the, to the water and split the H2O into hydrogen and oxygen, and release the oxygen to the atmosphere and add the hydrogen to the carbon to produce carbohydrates, lipids, and proteins, which are food for the animals, even for humans. We, we eat the vegetables and all these things. And that's this. I mean, so uh, w what is actually sunlight added to water, because sunlight is a source of energy, so it's split, cause the split of oxygen and uh, hydrogen. So if we take this concept with the hot water therapy, what happened here, is that the, when you start this hot water therapy, uh, the moment your body starts to split the hydrogen and oxygen, the same thing with the, the hydrogen cycle in the plants, and split and this oxygen, because I mean, uh, water added to uh, uh, energy, split the hydrogen and oxygen, and that's a very important, we will talk about the hydrogen in the human body. So the, this happened through the metabolic system. When the enzyme break down these substances, into to produce energy and build up the muscles and all these the cells.